Hello, Beauty News family, and welcome to another episode of The Makeup Breakup. This is a series where we destroy makeup for fun and sometimes to learn something. We upload new videos every Wednesday, so if you would like to see more, don't forget to smash that subscribe button before we smash one of the prettiest highlighters. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy Highlighter. And you guys have been requesting that we destroy this one. And I think it's simply because it is so pretty. We're going to do a weigh test and destruction plus repressing of this guy. But we also want to compare it to some other similar highlighters. One in particular that we think is pretty much just a repackage of this highlighter. This particular highlighter does claim to contain nine grams of product. So when we saw the Amrezy highlighter, straight away I thought of So Hollywood, which was an illuminator that Anastasia Beverly Hills brought out a few years ago, along with other shades. There were four shades. They still have one of the shades on the website because they clearly are waiting until it sells out, but it's been discontinued. Um, the formula looks very similar and the color looks quite similar too. So we looked at the ingredients and Pretty much they're the same thing. The mm -hmm. only difference is um, the Amrezy one doesn't have mica listed as its first ingredient. It's listed as a may contain ingredient, whereas the Illuminator, the first ingredient is mica. So we want to see how they compare because if you do have the shade So Hollywood, which was the most popular one and a lot of people do have, you might not need the Amrezy one. They cost the same, they contain the same amount of product, and they have very similar ingredients. Um, then we wanted to compare the Laura Gala. Uh, this is a Gilded Honey Baked Highlighter, because when you search the ingredients of the Amrezy one, this pops up as having very similar ingredients. So all of these three are very, very similar highlighters, and the, these this is a really popular cult one as well, so you might not need to spend your money on it. They're all different. We've got what feels like a beautiful warm but very gold highlight. Another beautiful warm gold highlight with a bit more of like a peachy tone to it. And then it seems to get even more peachy and warm. So I think they are all different very similar in formula they all felt the same um, but the colors are slightly different so if you need three gold highlights I get it I understand <laughs> <laughs> oh it's just lifting oh, the whole shit. thing wow okay looks like it's on a yeah it's um oh does it have a grate underneath it does it's got a grate if you don't know what the greats are, it's like uh, what's in the Too Faced, some yeah. of the recent Too Faced stuff we've been doing.
this one is packing a punch with product. There's 11.42 grams of product in there. So it is nearly two and a half grams overweight, which is fantastic. It's what we like to see. Oh, oh yeah, it's, it's full. Oh my god guys this is so difficult to get back in the pan it's like don't break crumbly. your Emerizi highlighter oh my god please don't break it because it's not very easy to repress all right so there it is i was thinking about trying to put waves into it with my fingers but this formula did not like being destroyed and then uh, mixed up and repressed. So um, I'm going to try not to fuck with it too much because I do actually want to use it. But um, so many people have been asking us to um, weigh something after it's been repressed and see how much product we lose throughout the uh, repressing um, process. Process. And we never do it because it sets back a video by days because we have to let this dry. It's currently wet, which means it's going to be heavy, but we're going to let this dry and then we're going to see. We're going to see how much did we lose. One eternity later. Here's our highlighter. So this has been drying. We had it open with a tissue sitting over the top of it for five days. Now, a couple of days ago, we weighed this uh, to see if it was, you know, ready to go, uh, and it wasn't. It actually weighed two grams over the original weight. So we let it dry for a few more days, um, and we're going to weigh it now, if I can get the scale on. So as you can see there, we have lost just over half a gram of product. Uh, it's not much at all. So there wasn't a whole lot of damage done throughout the whole destroying and repressing um, process. However, it doesn't look quite as pretty. So we've had a lot of people ask us to do this uh, to see how much you lose when you repress. It's actually not that much um, and the reason why we don't do this in every video because a lot of people wanted to see us incorporate this in every video is that it takes five days to dry so these <laughs> videos end up taking a lot longer to create and uh, we can't do it every week sorry guys but yeah shows you that you don't actually lose too much all right guys we hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and we will see you in the next one bye